Why digital? Why now? That's what we're all here to answer today. And my name is Doreen Bogdan-Martin. I'm the head of the ITU. And if you've ever wondered what the ITU is for, think about us the next time you stream a video, you look up an address on your device, or you do any of the things that are now part of your digital lives. We're the UN agency behind the many complex systems, technologies that power today's digital transformation. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends, my name is Achim Steiner and I head the United Nations Development Program. We are privileged to be working in 170 countries and UNDP is the UN's lead development agency, working to end poverty, inequality and climate change and to advance the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you for joining us for this event during the 78th United Nations General Assembly. This year, our global community is marking the midway point towards the 2030 Agenda. Much progress has been made towards the Sustainable Development Goals since 2015, and important transformations are gathering pace. Yet, we all know, it is estimated that 15% of the SDG targets are currently on track amidst an era of increasing uncertainty. Emerging from COVID-19, we now confront an accelerating climate crisis, violent conflicts at the highest level since World War II, including in Ukraine, and the cost of living and finance debt crisis that have tipped millions more people into poverty, sharpening inequalities worldwide, an era often referred to now as polycrisis. However, the future is not predestined. We have choices. We must confront and imagine the possible futures ahead so we can see where we might be able to steer change in the right direction towards the future we want. Just as we have shaped the world to what it is, we can make a new world. In particular, the fourth industrial revolution and digital technologies hold almost limitless potential to drive game-changing progress, improving people's daily lives, driving down poverty, advancing gender equality, and driving progress across the SDGs. Digital is opening brand new ways of working and thinking and new opportunities that we could not have imagined just a few years ago. Digital technology, I believe, is possibly the single greatest variable that is reshaping development as we know it today. Indeed, countries all over the world, over 40 right now, have already invited UNDP, often together with ITU, to accompany them in their digital transformation journeys to accelerate progress across all 17 SDGs. Doreen. This new world that Akim described is a world filled with new possibilities. It's a world where a startup in Bangalore is using AI to decarbonize, decarbonize India's agriculture sector. It's a world where a young woman launched an online platform with around $1,000 and she's transforming the shopping experience in Rwanda, where 40% of the SDGs rely on Earth observation and global navigation satellite systems. But ladies and gentlemen, it's also a world that's filled with challenges, a world where emerging technologies like artificial intelligence raises ethical safety and accountability concerns, where too many people lack digital skills in Sub-Saharan Africa alone, over 200 million jobs are going to require such skills by 2030. It's a world where services, they cost still too much. Too much, they're too high for the poorest 40% of the population in many parts of the globe, where women account for a disproportionate and a growing share of the global offline population, outnumbering male users by almost 20%. And it all comes down to a single number, 2.6 billion, 2.6 billion people. That's the number of people around the world that are still unconnected worldwide. And that's why Akim and I are sharing the stage today, because we believe, we believe, ladies and gentlemen, in the transformative impact of digital and a shared digital future for all, one that puts the SDGs back on track. And the future starts right here, today. During this SDG Action Weekend, we're going to show you, not tell you, what digital can do for people, for our planet, for prosperity, and for peace. 
These digital solutions are real. The famous fintech platform M-Pesa is reaching millions of customers in Africa at a time when more than 350 million adults remain unbanked on the continent. Giga, the joint initiative between ITU and UNICEF to connect every school in the world, has mapped some 2 million schools in almost 140 countries, helping to connect 5,700 schools and more than 2 million students in 20 countries. And let me also mention something close to my heart, very dear to me, and that is partner to connect. And each one of you will have an opportunity to make a commitment, a commitment that helps us get closer to our new target, 100 billion US dollars in pledges towards meaningful connectivity and global digital transformation by 2026. All of these solutions are at the heart of SDG Digital Acceleration Agenda, the agenda that we will be launching today, and Akim and I wanted it to be our common contribution to the SDG Summit. As Doreen has mentioned, this new report provides countries with a range of real-world examples that can accelerate progress on, yes, literally 70% of the 169 SDG targets. Please allow me to highlight just a few. Consider the UN Biodiversity Lab that provides decision makers with spatial data to put nature at the heart of sustainable development, or consider the smart health facilities, something that we support in UNDP. They are using smart technology to advance more reliable tracking and delivery of critical medical supplies and new green medical storage solutions. It has been implemented in countries such as Guinea-Bissau, India, Indonesia, Sao Tome and Principe, South Sudan and Uganda, and the list could go on. They have resulted in reliable tracking and delivery of over 2 billion routine immunization and COVID-19 vaccines to date, while also dramatically reducing emissions. Indeed, digital public infrastructure, or DPI, will be crucial to allow governments to extend such services to citizens. This represents the digital roads and bridges of our time that countries can then extend vital services to communities, everything from e-health, and online education to digital cash transfers. In the afternoon, we will also have a session on the ITU-UNDP Joint High Impact Initiative on Digital Public Infrastructure, which will bring together leaders across member states, international financial institutions, the private sector, and civil society to create a more inclusive society with safe, accessible, green, financed, and future-ready DPI before concluding this event. It's Doable. Ladies and gentlemen, digital is a once in a generation opportunity to put the SDGs back on track. That's why we're here today. That's what we're starting. We want this to generate for, to resonate for generations and generations to come. We firmly believe it's the greatest test. It's the greatest opportunity of our time. And at the same time, we must ensure that data and digital technology are used safely and responsibly to benefit everyone, everywhere, while safeguarding our natural environment. It is imperative that we support people-centered, rights-based, and inclusive approaches to ensure that no one is left behind. That will require new forms of cooperation so that everyone, everyone can build their own digital futures. To help turn those hopes and aspirations into a reality, we will hear from global leaders later in the afternoon who will detail a range of new commitments to help build out digital public infrastructure across the world. 17 goals. 17 digital solutions. 2.6 2 .6 billion, billion reasons, reasons to, to connect, connect the, world. the world. Thank you.